Do you, uh, so does the crash still affect you? Of course it does. Something like that doesn't just go away. I still picture his smile. I see his face everywhere. I'm just, it's hard. It's, every day is hard. I don't think you ever get through this. I just, I just wish I could do it all differently. I never meant for any of that to happen. Hey, Lindsay, I think we need some more green. Okay. Oh, do you want to go get more? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let me finish you and then we're gonna go get more. Hey man, you good? Yeah, I'm good. It's just in the school. Where's your emergency? <laughs> There's been a vehicle accident. I need you guys to hurry. Okay, where at? It looks bad. Okay. Uh, Colfax High School, Ben Taylor Road. Okay, how many vehicles are involved? Uh, uh, there's two. And are they blocking the roadway still? Yes. Yes. Okay, do you know if anyone's injured? It looks, it looks really bad. I understand, but do you know if anyone's injured? Yes. Yes. Okay, how many people are injured? Okay. Where? Somebody needs to call the ambulance. Uh, Grass Valley Rescue 36, engine 20. Okay. Too much blood, yeah. Two passenger vehicles, major damage. Just go ahead and start a EMS helicopter. Alright, so everybody stay right here, okay? I'm trying to help you, okay?
We're placing you under arrest for DUI. Okay, I need you to turn around. It is with great sadness that the family of Lindsay Ellen Tellman announces her tragic passing on February 6, 2018. She was only 15 years old. Lindsay grew up in a loving family in Meta Vista and attended Sierra Hills Elementary, Colfax Elementary, and was a sophomore at Colfax High School at the time of her death. Throughout her time in school, she was an active participant in student government and leadership in hopes of making the world around her a better place. She excelled at math and science and had dreams of graduating from a prestigious four-year college and then enrolling in Blake the Armed David Forces. Blake David Allen Kipp, 17, from Auburn, died on February 6, 2018.
2018 as a result of injuries sustained in a motor vehicle accident involving a drunk driver. Blake was born on February 28, 2000 in Auburn, California. Jacob Raphael Schwartz, 17, of Colfax, California, was killed Tuesday, February 6, 2018, in a car accident. Born on May 12, 2000, to parents Jonathan and Hannah Schwartz. Abigail also, Lynn Gonzalez, a carefree, loving spirit and daughter, passed Sophie Nina Hampshire on January 5th, was born on June 29, 2002. A drunk driver killed her on February 6th. Jace William Hasper, 17, of Meta Vista, died as a result of injuries sustained in a motor vehicle Dylan accident Dylan H. Cologne was killed on driver. February 6th, 2018. Dylan was a victim of an alcohol Christian related Michael accident. Evanson was killed on February 6, 2018. Christian was Connor 17 years Joseph old in a Fruman. junior. It is with extreme sadness and heartache that we say goodbye to our son and joy. Isabella Jade he has Claire lost his Sally life suddenly was killed on February 6, 2018. Isabella was on her way home. Celeste from a Marie Picitelli was killed on February 6, 2018. 16 Mr. Hyle grew up in a small town complex. in northeastern Pennsylvania. Callan Christopher likely. James Workman, Haley 16 Renee Stapleton, of Colfax, 17, California, of Colfax, died, February. died February 6, John R. McCann, 16, of Auburn, Sarah California, Sarah Lynn Downey, a freshman at Colfax 6th. High School, died on Zachary February 6, 2018. Zachary Ray who was only 15 years old, was and killed by a drunk driver on February 6. Michelangelo Taylor was born on May 25, 2003. He was killed on February 6, 2008. Every 15 minutes, another life is taken by a drunk driver. Is your life worth risking?